Connix Pharmaceuticals announced a highly statistically significant and clinically meaningful results for a new treatment for fibromyalgia. And with me is the CEO, Seth Letterman of Tonix, to talk about this. Give me the headlines of these trials and then we'll explain a little bit and go into more detail. Thank you, Jane. We're very excited. This is our second positive phase three study. So we expect that our drug, which is called Tanmaya, is ready to be submitted to the FDA for approval. Okay. This will be the first new drug, we believe, for fibromyalgia since 2009. Mm -hmm. And very importantly, it's a new class of medicines and it is not an opiate, so it does not have addictive potential. Okay, and this is pain relief for, for fibromyalgia, is this particular drug, and that's, what did it see, these try, like how much did it reduce pain? Fibromyalgia is a particular type of pain. It's now known that there are three types of pain, and fibromyalgia is the kind of pain that originates in the brain. Mm. And fibromyalgia pain has been notoriously difficult to treat with a medicine that has long-term tolerability. So we think that our medicine is suitable to be taken long-term, and it provided not only pain relief, so it's not only a non-opiate analgesic, it is that, it's a new kind of painkiller, but it also gave them improved sleep and a relief from fatigue, which is a sense of low energy that also afflicts fibromyalgia. Very patients. interesting. Were there side effects? Every prescription drug has side effects. Um, the level of systemic side effects was very low. Um, some headache and somnolence, that was about 3% on drug versus 1% on placebo. But uh, the most common side effect was a transient numbness under the tongue in about a fourth of the patients, but they only experienced it, 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 it was short term and it went away and it was you know mild. So minor side effects yes. so far in these trials. Is it a pill or injection? It's a sublingual tablet. It goes under the tongue and people are instructed to take it every night at bedtime. And we believe that it improves sleep quality. Mm. It's not a sleeping <clears throat> pill. It's not a traditional sedative or hypnotic. And, um, but what it does is it blocks certain signals in the brain during the night that otherwise would interfere with sleep in fibromyalgia patients. Interesting. So the sleep issue, better sleep, less fatigue, and an interesting side note, improved sexual function you found as well. Yes. Um, that was part of the study that was really in the tolerability part of the study, but we were surprised that we got a p-value for improving sexual function in women. Mm -hmm. Most people with fibromyalgia are women, mm -hmm. and we think that that's a big advantage because some of the other drugs for fibromyalgia do have a deleterious uh, effect in some women mm -hmm. uh, affecting sexual function. So that was um, an, added, um, uh, an added feature of the data from the study. Thank you so much, Seth, for explaining that. Thank you, that. Jane. Thanks.